meal preppers, Paul coming at you here, Amy behind the camera. Yep, yep. And uh, here we come at you with some amazing recipes. You know, as we get into the holiday season, we definitely want to have some phenomenal dishes for us to eat at home to, to keep us from the temptation of eating out. Not that it's a bad thing, but we love eating out. And honestly, uh, focusing on the app in this past month, I have actually lost quite a bit of weight. And, uh, and that, that's been a, a small goal of mine. Uh, I really wanted to focus on what the app could do for me. In November, we wanted to do no eating out, and it really worked. I lost about maybe seven to eight pounds. Um, yep. And then going forward, Amy's got some of her own health and weight goals. And so we're focusing on a lot of veggie heavy dishes right yep. now. Um, first Ignore of the all, Christmas boxes, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Middle, Sorry, just decorating. disclaimer. And uh, starting off over here, team, we've got Buddha bowls. Buddha bowls are phenomenal. Because uh, you basically you focus on having some greens, some grains, a legume, and then veggies, and that's what we got in here. And we changed this bowl up by by uh, doing some Thai peanut dressing right here, which we we haven't done before. Usually we do like a tahini dressing, but this has got a bed of spinach and kale mix, yep. quinoa Sorry. in there, some crispy yes, chickpeas. chickpeas. So roast those so they get nice and crispy. So much better than gooey and smushy <laughs> and then uh roasted edamame. some sweet potatoes there's edamame under there yep there it is edamame a good source of protein but it's also a legume and then uh we're going to top it with some peanuts here let me it's open this thai up we got sauce. some thai peanuts it sauce made a lot it did make a lot but it is pretty phenomenal you'll taste uh the rice vinegar in there the lime juice the soy sauce and it's so good we even put some crushed red pepper in there yep. so a little kick. spicy we'll put some avocado on top for some healthy fat uh, yep. We'll cut that one ready to eat it. Over here, we have got some tomato basil chicken. And uh, it came out really good. Actually, I would some flake salt on this is going to be amazing. Uh, that'll bring all the flavors out. But we got spinach. We actually threw some cherry tomatoes in there just as a topping to make it even better. And we served that with some spaghetti squash and steamed uh, green beans this week. We didn't roast them. Um, this has got coconut fat in it. Uh, what you do is when you buy a can of coconut milk, don't shake it. Don't shake it up. You can grab the, the coconut fat right off the top and put it in the blender. Uh, if you shake it up, then you'll get the other oil in there. No, you and, just um, you just get a more um, <laughs> a, a more uh, watered down watered down version. You, yeah. The fat floats to the top, so, so you get yeah. the skim so skim version. It, it does, it, does uh, it, it appears right there. If you have, if you have, if you happen to get it, just pour it out. Anyway. Uh, going right on to this, uh, Amy really was looking forward to this. We got some Korean steak bites with stir fry veggies underneath. You got some snow peas, which she mm -hmm. wanted this week. Uh, broccoli, got some yellow oh, pepper. Oh, sugar snap peas. Oh, that's right, sugar snap peas. Yeah. I wanted the snow peas. Yeah, and you didn't get them. And I did not get them. Get Shredded them carrots. Uh, I wanted some brown rice. She got a little bit of brown rice, but I wanted Teeny some time. brown rice. And uh, the marinade for this wasn't quite on par. Um, mm -hmm. We substituted some stuff, but I would probably add, I don't think it would hurt if you added a table, tablespoon of brown sugar just to sweeten it up, or maybe some extra maple syrup. Uh, we we um, substituted the dates, because dates can be really hard to work with, uh, but it was dates or, or, or maple syrup, so. The, the cleaner version yeah. is dates or maple, dates syrup. Or maple syrup. Brown sugar's refined, but, you it's, could but add go for it, man. Some maple syrup just to make it sweeter. It's in the marinade, so it's not like you're eating it straight out. Um, so it'll marinate it, but um, sriracha, that's what you put on it. Yeah, <laughs> sriracha uh -huh. sauce or some, uh, some soy sauce. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, it doesn't always come out great, but we're still going to eat it's it. Still good. Um, still good. Uh, so that's what we got this week. I hope you guys love it. We are going to make some other dishes later on this week. I'm probably going to come out and make a Jamaican stew, a Jamaican jerk stew. Um, I can't wait to do that. Yep. So uh, let us know what you like this week, and you guys have a phenomenal weekend. All right, take care.